Hi, Movie Recap Brothers here. Today I will show you a horror movie called Case 39. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Emily Jenkins is a social worker, working on cases against child abuse. She is given one case to investigate which was the 39th case assigned to her. The case was about a 10-year-old girl named Lilith, whose school's grades have declined due to conflicts with her parents. After questioning Lilith about her family situation, Emily suspects that her parents are not treating her fairly and possibly abusing her at home. Emily tells this to Wayne, the head of her department, but Wayne denies it. Persistent, Emily manages to get Wayne to call Lilith's parents to the office. Once there, Lilith secretly tells Emily that her parents hate her and don't treat her well. After hearing all this, Emily gives her number to Lilith's school and asks her to call her if there is any problem. Her suspicions were confirmed later when Lilith called Emily at midnight, informing her that her parents were going to kill her. Emily and Mike, a friend and detective, arrive at her house to check out the situation. Mike is a bit skeptical and contemplates leaving. While both are contemplating outside, Lilith's parents are seen dragging her to the oven. Overpowering the girl, both manage to put her in the oven using duct tape to seal it shut and turning on the stove. Outside, as the both discuss and move closer to the house, they both suddenly hear Lilith's screams from inside. Mike breaks open the door and find that both parents have put Lilith inside the oven to burn her. Mike and Emily manages to contain both parents and ends up freeing Lilith from the oven. After this incident, Lilith was sent to the children's home but she begged Emily to take care of her. The board agrees with this decision and assigns Emily to care for Lilith until a suitable foster family arrives. Lilith is happy to be with Emily and in only a few days they both become like mother and daughter. The next morning Emily goes to pick up Lilith's old things. However, once there, she noticed that there were locks in Lilith's parents' room which is uncommon. After seeing all this, Emily became suspicious of Lilith. Two weeks after Lilith was living with Emily, a boy named Diego, one of Emily's victims, brutally murdered her parents in the middle of the night, and Detective Barron informed Emily that someone had called Diego the night before the crime and that the call came from her home. When questioned, Lilith denied that she knew anything, suspected of being involved in the incident, she took Lilith to a psychiatrist. During their session, Douglas asks Lilith what her fears are but begins to intimidate him by asking him questions. Douglas is shocked when Lilith tries to disturb him. Douglas tells Emily that has never faced such a child before. Douglas expresses his discomfort to Emily and says he will call a specialist in the morning to help with Lilith's examination. At night Douglas receives an unusual call from his home. A bunch of hornets, Douglas had previously told Lilith he was scared of, started flying out of his body, and he went crazy and committed suicide. After talking to Diego and attending Douglas' funeral, Emily has more suspicions about Lilith and decides to visit the shelter where Edward and Margaret are being held in custody for the attempted murder of Lilith. Margaret is insane and cannot see the visitors but Edward tells her that Lilith is far away from man and is actually a demon who is able to cause deadly thoughts based on the fear of his victims. Their attempt to kill her was an attempt to save themselves and others, and that she was now feeding on Emily's kindness and beauty. Edward informs Emily that the only way to kill Lilith is to put her to bed. Following his orders, Emily gives Lilith tea with sleeping powder that night and waited for her to go to bed. While Lilith is asleep, Emily pours gas on her house and sets it on fire, hoping to kill Lilith. However, when Lilith finds out about Emily's plot, she escapes unharmed. The police ask to take Emily and Lilith to a temporary shelter and Emily pretends to comply. Shortly after following the police cars, she takes on a different route. Driving recklessly and at high speed, the frightened Lilith forces Emily to recall her childhood memory of her mother driving fast in a storm and a truck rolling down their path. Emily struggles with memory, however, she convinces herself that it is not true, leaving Lilith herself shocked that her deceptive ideas are no longer making Emily afraid. Emily crashes into the gate and removes the car from the dock into the lake. As the car sinks, Emily struggles to lock Lilith in the trunk by rolling to the back seats and drowning her. Emily gets out of the car and swims but Lilith grabs her leg from the car tail light but Emily still manages to kick free. At last Emily is free and Lilith continues to sink down with the car. Emily climbs back to the beach and looks at the water to make sure she is really gone. The film ends with Emily smiling, finally free. Subscribe for more movies like this. Turn on notifications and hit the like button for more videos just like this.